Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to this video tutorial on Windows Phone 8 for students at King Faisal University and for others who want to learn mobile app development. This is part 4 in the series entitled Running Up on a Windows Phone 8 Device. Before we can register our phone, we should have a Microsoft account. You can also choose to have a Windows Phone Dev Center account, but you may not need that unless you're already going to publish an app in the Windows Phone Store. So for now, if you don't have a Microsoft account yet, Go to your explorer and type Microsoft account sign up. Click the first one you'll see and complete the form. Once you're done, you may log out from your account. Next, bring out your Windows 8 phone. What I have is Nokia Lumia 920, which has been provided by our very supportive Dean Dr. Majid al Shamari, specifically for this class. Make sure that the date and time on your phone settings are correct. Get the USB cable for your phone and connect it in your computer and phone. At this time, go to the search panel and type Windows Phone Developer Registration. You can see it already on your left. Click it. Since my phone has already been registered prior to this video, the button below is for unregistering this phone. In your case, the window should look like this. Wait for the status to become Identified Windows Phone 8 Device. Afterwards, click the Register button below. If asked, sign in with your Microsoft account. When done, the status should change to congratulations, you have successfully unlocked your Windows phone. Your phone is now ready to run the apps you will create in Visual Studio 2012. Sometimes, you may need to soft reset your phone before you see the screen. To soft reset Nokia Lumia 920, simply press and hold the volume down and the power button for 10 seconds. The phone should vibrate and reboot. To test our phone for deployment, let's do this activity. We will create this app and place it in CWP8 app 4-1. In the main pages content panel, we will place a text box and a text block. Then we will add a button and create a click event that will change the text property of a text block to welcome plus the value inside the text box. Open Visual Studio 2012 and click new project. Make sure to select Visual C Sharp under it Windows Phone Windows Phone app template and then uh, try to save the, the apps in this location Windows Phone 8 and for the name of our app it's app 4-1 meaning fourth video first activity and then click OK select Windows Phone OS 8 let's click the content panel click the toolbox and dock it let's try to drag a text box Let's name this text box TBX1 and let's delete the text value. Now let's drag a text block. Let's name it the text TBK1 and its text property. Let's change it to welcome and don't forget to put a space. It will separate uh, the next value that we will add to it later. Next is, let's try to drag a button. Let's name this button BTN1. And its content, let's change it to Go. Okay, now we're ready to add an event for our command button. So double click the command button. You see this button one click method. What we're going to do here is upon clicking that button, we will change the text property of text block one or tbk1 to its current value which is welcome and space plus whatever was entered by the user in text box one which is in the text property so that's it let's save it first we will try to run it in our emulator There is our app. We'll try to put something in the text box. Let's try Ali. And let's click the button. Go. There is Welcome Ali. 
let's close uh, our emulator now we will try to run it in a real windows phone device select our emulator there's a down button on the right select device and then click that device now wait on your phone for our app to render it is let's click the text box and write something here and then tap the go button there now is your app okay. uh, please take note that you can store only up to three applications in your windows phone To uninstall it, first you have to stop that uh, Windows Phone 8 running and then look for that app there, it's app. To uninstall an app, tap it for several seconds and then uninstall it. Say yes and your app has been installed. Well, congratulations, we just finished running our Windows Phone 8 app using the emulator and a real Windows Phone 8 device. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Masalama.